We just arrived in Squamish now. We're gonna go check into our place and we're gonna go explore the city for a bit. And then tomorrow is the big hike day. So now it's the evening in Squamish. We're gonna go check out the city, go to the nice river that's there. Now we're sitting here by the river, overlooking the hike that we're gonna be doing tomorrow. Right there, the chief. Who's ready? Not me. We walked around the main street for a bit called Cleveland Street. We just bought a dinner that we're gonna make back at our place. Just preparing ourselves for the hike. We have all our stuff back. We're taking a jacket in case it's cold and then some snacks and some water. And now we're ready, just gonna catch the first bus and we're gonna go. We just got off bus number five, which took us right to the trailhead where the chief hike starts. We're gonna be going on the first peak. Before entering the park, you're gonna need a BC Park Pass, which is free but it's just to keep the number of people inside the park regulated. Start of the hike now. About 600 meter elevation gain. Starts off with a bunch of stairs. The start of the hike starts off with a bunch of stairs, which is followed by a lot more stairs. And then once these stairs end, there's even more stairs. You're hiking beside like a little waterfall stream the whole time. Looks pretty nice. We've hiked for a bit and we've passed the split. Almost the whole hike so far has been some stairs, but there's been a bit of level ground. It's pretty steep. It's not an easy hike, but it's very doable. First little lookout area, there's a little rock, and then there's a nice lookout area. There's also a helicopter landing pad. Here's the changeover where you go first peak, and there you go to second peak. We're on the part where the trail splits off between the first peak and the second peak. We're headed off to the first peak right now. Don't have much left, I think about 50 meters elevation. Now we're at this spot where there's a ladder. It's a very short ladder. It looks like we're just about at the top now. There's a little rock and then it looks like the peak is just there. So we almost made it. We have to use this chain that's attached to the mountain and we climb by the chain. did had a few ladders and some chain ropes to help you get up because the rock itself was really steep and slippery. Getting right up to the top now. We're almost at the peak. I already see a really nice view. and now we get to enjoy this amazing view. down from the first peak really great views you have to go down all those ladders and ropes and the rocks it's pretty difficult now it's time for the second peak maybe the third now we're at this 
part where the second peak starts and there's a rope and chain that you just take up, you climb on rocks. Some more difficult hiking. second peak the view is definitely better from the first one but the hike here was really difficult which made it really fun you have to use a bunch of ropes and some ladders and then you just have to rock climb up some rocks using the spider-man technique is what i think is best you can see the first peak right over there that's the rock that it stands on and then that looks like it's gonna be the third peak. So now we're going back down. This is definitely gonna be the harder part though. Wish us luck and I'll see you at the bottom. Just got down, very difficult, pretty hard on the knees. The first peak was really nice. I would definitely recommend that. The trail is also easier. So if you're going for the view, definitely go to first peak. But second peak, if you're going more for the journey, second peak is very difficult it has some tough parts we have to use ropes and stairs but it's it's pretty fun but the view is better from the first peak we never decided to go to third peak but that's the point with the highest elevation just at the end of the chief trail there's another spot where you turn left and you go on to the shannon falls hike we're just going to check out shannon falls right now now we're just making it to the base of shannon falls which are the third tallest waterfalls in bc sky gondola up to the summit and then it brings you to a nice little lodge and you chill there for a bit with a really nice view of the lakes. The buses are running so we're at the base and we're stuck taking a cab. If you can get a car here because the bus we heard is very unreliable and there's just so many stops along the highway that you can do we just got dropped off, went to Nestor's Market quickly to get dinner, and now walking back to the hostel. out of our hostel now we're just walking around the main city there's a decent amount of options for food you can go to Nestor's market and they have ready food but they also have food that you can make on your own I heard save on foods is also cheaper and then there's a few restaurants in this city we didn't have food from any of them though If you enjoyed today's video please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.